special thanks to Patreon support Transfighter 8 for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Gary Tupo here bringing you another Minecraft Bath to Build tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the World War II Brooklyn Class Cruiser. The Brooklyn Class Cruiser for 9 light cruisers of the United States Navy that served during World War II, armed with 5, 3 forward, 2 and 2 aft, triple turrets mounting 6 inch 152 millimeter guns, that in total makes for 15 6 inch guns. They uh, mounted more heavy caliber guns than any other U.S. cruisers. The Brooklyn's were all commissioned between 1937 and 1939 in the time between the war of the uh, the war uh, in Asia and before the outbreak of war in Europe. They served extensively in both the Pacific and Atlantic theaters during World War II. Though uh, some were heavily damaged, all but Helena survived the war and all the survivors were uh, decommissioned shortly after the end of the war with five transferred in 1951 to South American navies where they served for many more years. One of these, the ARA General uh, Belgrano, uh, was sunk during the Falklands War in 1982. So, uh, you know, cool uh, class of cruisers. It kind of has a, um, you know, kind of a vibe of like the early, I guess you can say like the interwar cruisers, but also has that, you know, look that uh, makes them look modern. Um, or basically not really modern but like modern in terms of like world war ii and all that um during the end of the war the new cruisers and stuff and how the designs kind of shifted a bit um it's also very interesting it's uh one of the only really u.s cruisers i think actually ever existed it might be the only one that has the triple turret setup kind of reminds me back when we did a japanese cruiser um that had a very similar uh, setup as well as well so um, really interesting ship and uh, looks really cool. Uh, before we go and take a look at it, I just want to go ahead and give a special thanks to Patreon supporter uh, Trench Fighter 8 for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in, in uh, you know supporting the channel where you guys are, do feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is down in the description. We can go ahead and pledge a small amount to the channel every month and in return receive a vehicle request for doing so. So feel free to check that out and uh, you know uh, feel free to become a Patreon if you are interested. Anyways, going ahead and diving into this. Um, ship, it's been a little while since we've done um, some BAFTA builds, so nice to get back into the flow of things and what a good way to start off with a US cruiser. Um, so starting off with, we have obviously the bow of the ship, um, nothing real fancy going on there, just do, uh, you know standard details. Coming back here we have uh, basically our section here where we have our turrets. So for this uh, we have uh, turrets uh, 1, 2, and 3, so you have a front turret here, a turret that kind of goes up, mounted up here, and an air turret right behind it. Um, so you have those turrets located right there. Um, they are supposed to be triple inch turrets, but just because of the scale of building the ship and all that, I couldn't really put triple inch turrets on here um, as they just wouldn't sit right. Um, so I had to, you know, obviously shrink it down to, you know, one block wide turrets. And, uh, you know, it does look all right. It's not obviously, you know, ideal, but uh, it works for what we're trying to accomplish here. Um, anyways, going ahead and continuing on, we have uh, the basically the conning tower here. So where your bridge and all that um, would be fire control systems and um, all that located right here. Um, it does have secondary guns. I forget the caliber of these, but these were um, on the ship when it was first built. Um, just kind of throwing this out there. Also, this is the 1938 variant. So this is like the first, um, you know, uh, look at basically the first version of it before it was modified, um, you know, to kind of fulfill more of that World War II type role. I uh, got some different little, um, you know, basically uh, positions up here uh, for spotlights and stuff like that. Um, as we continue way our way back, we have the kind of second uh, mass back here with the cranes and stuff like that. The li some lifeboats about here in the mid ship area. Little American flag up there. And then coming back, we have turrets uh, uh, four and five. And we also have the seaplane um, crane and um, basically launch catapults and stuff like that. Uh, so a really cool ship uh, came out really nice and uh, it's going to obviously make a good addition to any of your uh, fleets and yeah so just overall cool ship and should be a pretty fun build to include into your BAFTA build worlds. Um, anyways let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our uh, first layer, layer number one. Alright guys so going ahead and moving into our first layer we'll be obviously starting with layer number one. Now for layer one uh, and for the uh, basically layers one through three we're gonna be going ahead and doing half on camera half off what this means is I'm gonna be doing half the layer on camera and then it'll be up to you guys just to copy the other side over um, with this uh, ship basically the first few layers are completely symmetrical the ship itself is pretty much uh, fully symmetrical um, just when we get into the top portion a lot more detail going on so I do all the layers um, all together both sides uh, but for these few, few these first few layers to go ahead and kind of cut down on 
uh, tutorial length and all that stuff, I can go ahead and just do half of it on camera and it's pretty self-explanatory from that point there. Now for us to go ahead and get started, obviously most of you guys will probably want to build this in the water. So to get this started in the water, you're going to want to make sure that this, these brick top slabs that are going to be placed in for the bottom of the hole are going to be a total of one full block underneath the water. As you can see here, this uh, line of light blue wool represents the water. Uh, block basically blocks above it and you have basically the top of the water that would be right here and then basically the block itself um, so make sure that that is positioned correctly underwater and once you have that done we can go and get started now for these brick top slabs we're going to be placing down a row of brick top slabs we're going to be going back for a total of 34 brick top slabs in this line down the center of the ship we then want to go ahead and skip two spaces near the back here we're going to place down two brick top slabs on the end for the rudder there so just like that after that's done, we're going to go ahead and go back up to the front and work our way out to the side. So starting off with the front here, we're going to go ahead and count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and go to our 6 stone or brick top slab back. We're going to place down a brick top slab out to the side. And from this brick top slab, we're going to go ahead and continue our back. So we already have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26 brick top slabs back like so. We're going to go ahead and go back up to the front and go to the row we just built and count to the sides. We're going to go ahead and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and to our 7th brick uh, top slab back. We're going to place an iron trap door to the side, followed by a second iron trap door, and make sure that they are on the top portion of a block so they should be like this and not down there on this level like so. We then want to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Brick top slabs back, followed by two iron trap doors, again, on the top portion of the block and on the bottom. Once you have that done, we have basically the right side of the complete, along with the center line of the ship. We're going to take what we did on the right side here, flip it over to the left side, and you'll have the base of the ship completed, which should look something just like this. That right there is going to complete layer uh, number one. And with that, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number two. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our next layer, we have layer number two. For layer two to get started with here, we'll be going ahead and uh, building on top of our brick top slabs down the center line of the ship. Before we get started, just make sure that this line of red uh, concrete that we're going to be placing is in line with our water level. So the block of the top of these blocks of concrete should be visible from the surface of the water. Um, so just throwing out there to make sure that, that is correct. Um, anyways, for our long row here, we're going to start on this brick top slab here on the front bow of the ship. We're going to go ahead and count all the way back here to this brick top slab back here. So in total, this will be a row of 34, just like the brick top slabs we placed in the previous layer. From this point here, we're going to place down a brick upside down stair, followed by a brick top slab, two red concrete blocks on top of these two brick top slabs here, and their brick top slab coming off this last red concrete block here. And to the sides of this brick top slab and this uh, red concrete block, we're going to place down iron trap doors on both sides. From this point here, we're going to go then grab ourselves a birchwood slab. We're going to place down a birchwood slab like so, followed by an end rod coming off of it, and then a second end rod after that. We then want to place down a brick upside down stair like so, followed by a long row of red concrete going toward the front. We're going to start off with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29 red concrete blocks forward just like that. After that's all complete there, we're going to go ahead and then go back to the rear of the ship here and continue working out to the side. We're going to go ahead and go to this end rod right here and come off of it to the side. We're going to place down a birchwood slab like so. And then coming off the birchwood slab going toward the uh, front of the ship, we're going to place down the end rod followed by a second one after it. Uh, when that's done there, we're going to place down a brick uh, upside down stair, which is going to be facing this direction like so, and then come off this upside down stair and place down a second stair, so this turn stair right here turns into a corner stair. We're going to take our red concrete and place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Red concrete blocks forward. I'm going to go ahead and get a double count here of the length, and it is going to be 20 blocks in length from this brick upside down stair right here on the back of the ship. Um, from this point here, we're going to go ahead and then just place down a brick upside down stair, come off this red concrete block, and with that all complete, that will uh, complete layer 2, and as you can see, uh, you have a nice look at the hole um, coming together pretty good, and that is all the part that would be underwater. All the rest of this stuff from here on out is going to be above water. So with that, let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer number 3. 
Alright guys, go ahead and move into our next layer. We have layer number three, and layer number three is going to be the last layer. We're doing the half on, half off before we go ahead and obviously move into doing um, each layer all together. So first to go ahead and get started here, we'll be going ahead and taking stone blocks and placing down a stone block on top of this red concrete block up here in the very front battle of the ship. We're going to go ahead and place down an additional three blocks back, so you have a row of four here of stone blocks. We're then going to take uh, gray wool, and we're going to be going ahead and placing down a long row of gray wool. Going back a total of 33 blocks and then you're on top of this first concrete block here on top of the rudder. We then want to place down two more stone blocks like this toward the rear. And that right there will uh, finish that off right there on the back. Going out to the sides here, we're going to take our stone blocks to go off on this one on top of this iron trap door here and place down a stone block followed by one, two, three, four, five, and six stone blocks forward. From this point here, we're going to take gray wool and place down one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23 gray wool blocks forward, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 stone blocks forward, and then 1 and 2 cobblestone walls like that to go ahead and complete the uh, front of the ship there. With that done, uh, we're going to go ahead and start off with the front here again. We can go ahead and start from this point on top of this uh, brick up sitting on stair. We're going to place down a cobblestone wall, followed by one more cobblestone wall forward. And go back from the cobblestone wall itself, we're going to be placing down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Stone blocks back, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 cobblestone walls back like that. Um, after that's all done, that is going to wrap up layer number 3. And with that, we'll be able to go ahead and move on to our next layer, which is going to be layer number 4. Alrighty guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number 4. For layer 4 to go ahead and get started with, we're going to go ahead and place down a grey carpet, or my bad, sorry, a stone block on top of this stone block up here for the front bow of the ship, followed by a cobblestone wall that comes off of it toward the front. On both sides of the stone block, we're going to be placing down a wither skeleton skull. Continuing on, we're going to place down another stone block back, followed by a cobblestone wall on both sides going back from the from the wither skeleton skulls. We're then going to take a uh, stone brick stair, we're going to place down a stone brick stair here in the middle, followed by a cobblestone wall to both sides of that stair. With that done, we want to go and then take our stone brick slabs and place down a row of three of stone brick slabs across, followed by a stone slab here to both ends. In the middle space here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate, have it open up toward the back of the ship, followed by a second fence gate also open up in the same direction. We're going to place down a stone block behind the fence gate, or sorry, a stone brick stair, and then behind the stone brick stair, a stone block with a skeleton skull to both sides of the stone block like that. After that's done there, we're going to go ahead and then uh, take our gray carpet, place down gray carpet here to both sides like this, two light gray carpets, and we then want to go ahead and continue on working our way back by placing down a stone block here on top of this gray um, wool block here, and then a gray carpet here to both sides of the stone block. Uh, with this done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a daylight sensor here in the middle, and we can go ahead and then grab ourselves a stone button. And on this uh, gray uh, wool block right here, we're going to place a stone button to both sides of the daylight sensor. And also an end rod here on these two cobblestone walls to both sides as well. With that done, in the middle here, we're going to place down a stone block again, followed by a stone brick stair coming off of it. And we then want to take our dark wood fence gates and have two fence gates coming off the stair and open them toward the stair like that uh, to go ahead and create the barrels here for the turret number three. We then want to place down a skeleton skull to both sides of this stone block like that. With that done, we're going to go ahead and then grab ourselves some redstone repeaters. We're going to place down a redstone repeater on the stone block here to both sides. Put the notches back like that. And we also want to place down a stone button here to both sides of the second fence gate located right in this section. We're going to then take gray carpet and place down three gray carpets back from these redstone repeaters like that. With that done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a stone block here in the middle, followed by a cobblestone wall to both sides. Coming off the cobblestone wall, we're going to place down a gray carpet uh, to both sides like that. We then want to place down a row of three of stone blocks across like so, followed by an upside down stone brick stair here to both sides. Just like that. We then going to place down another row of three of stone blocks across, followed by a gray carpet again on both sides. With that done, we're going to go ahead and then place down another row of three of stone blocks across, followed by another brick fence post to both sides. We're going to place down another row of three of stone blocks across, followed by a gray carpet again to both sides. We're then want to place down a stone block here in the middle, followed by a cobblestone wall to both sides, and coming off this cobblestone wall on top of the stone block, we're going to be placing down an anvil 
on both sides like this and then coming off the anvil itself we're going to be placing down a uh, end rod like that to the side there with uh, that all wrapped up we're going to go ahead and then grab ourselves some item frames and on the sides of the anvils here we're placing down item frames with stone blocks in them like so and same thing over here and just like that after that's done we're going to place down a gray carpet after the anvils uh, in the middle here, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a uh, gray uh, wool block, followed by a cobblestone wall to both ends. After that's done, uh, we're going to go ahead and then place down a uh, another gray wool block here in the middle. And after this one, we're going to place down again a cobblestone wall to both ends. We're going to place down an anvil this time on both sides, and then coming off the anvil itself, we're going to place down an end rod to both sides, along with a item frame on both sides of the anvil itself with a stone block in it like this for the secondary batteries and same thing up here and just like this on both sides after that's done we're going to place down a row of two stone blocks going back and again two cobblestone walls to the sides here coming off these anvils we're going to place down a gray carpet on both sides here and we then want to place down another anvil uh, section right here on both sides Again, end rod coming off of it, and uh, we only have to go ahead and place down a item frame on the side closest to the front of the ship. So just right here, and same thing over here on this side. Now for this point here, we're going to go ahead and take our uh, gray wool. We're going to place down a row of one and two gray wool blocks across the middle there. We then want to take stone blocks, place down two stone blocks to both sides, and uh, we're then going to place down a quartz stair to both sides like this followed by a quartz slab coming off the quartz stair and then on the side here of the quartz stair and quartz slab we're going to be placing down wind signs like this on the side here so just like that after that's all done there we're going to place down a row three of stone blocks across the middle here actually my bad it's going to be a row uh, basically a gray wool block in the middle and a stone block on both sides and then we just want to place down a daylight sensor to both sides like this and turn it to the night mode so that it has kind of a more um, you know bluish tint to it when that's done there we're to place down a row of three of stone blocks across followed by a iron bar to both sides we then want to go ahead and place down a stone block in the middle here followed by a cobblestone wall to both sides of this block cut off the cobblestone wall to both ends we're to place down a quartz top slab like so from this point here we're to place down an additional quartz top slab back on both sides and we then want to place down a iron bar on this first cobblestone wall here to both sides like that. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a redstone repeater. Place down a redstone repeater here, not just to the sides, and stone buttons to both sides. Coming off the redstone repeater, we'll place down a stone block forward. Redstone repeater to both sides again, and notches flicked out to the side like that as well. After that, we're going to place down an additional stone block forward, followed by a stone brick stair. So let me grab that. So a stone brick stair like this. And to both sides of this uh, first stone block here, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some skeleton skulls again and place down skeleton skulls on both sides. Going ahead and coming off the stair itself, we want to grab ourselves dark oak fence gates and place down two fence gates like that going toward the back there. Uh, we're then going to take some gray carpet. We're going to place down gray carpet on this first cobblestone wall here on both sides. And then we're going to place down gray carpet on these stone blocks right here to the side like that. Now from this point here, we're going to place down a redstone or a daylight sensor like this on this cobblestone wall, followed by a row of one, two, and three on these stone blocks. One, two, and three. And uh, if you do want to add the C plane, we'll get into that in a second. Um, if you do want to add that on, uh, going back to this section here, we're going to go ahead and place down a cobblestone wall on top of the stone block, and uh, we then want to go ahead and place down a gray carpet here on top of the stone block right here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and then take a redstone repeater. And we're going to place it down on these stone blocks here on both sides and have the notches flicked um, back like that to create the back here for the crane. Now, if you do want to go ahead and throw on the C plane, I'm just going to show you guys how to build it all together right now. Uh, make it a little bit easier for us uh, when it comes down to putting the crane on and all that kind of stuff um, and all that. So uh, the C plane itself is pretty simple and straightforward. Um, you can choose to put it on either side you want. You can have it on both sides. I think it looks a little bit better um, just on the one side. So for this, I'm going to go ahead and just delete one of these daylight sensors, for example this one right here, and I'm going to place down a dark oak fence gate with, with it closed like this. 
on top of that uh, fence gate, I'm going to pu put down a prepare uh, slab. You can also use a uh, stone brick if you want, but the prepare kind of breaks it up as being separate from the uh, ship. We're then going to place down an iron trap door to both sides of this fence gate. And again, you want to make sure that it's closed, so you will have to change all these daylight sensors to the night mode. Unless your ship is in the night, then you want to change it to the day mode. Um, anyways, once that's done there, we're going to go ahead and place down a blue carpet on these two iron trap doors. And then we're going to place down a prepare stair going where the tail of this the uh, plane is going to be facing, which is toward the back of the ship. Prepare stair on top of this daylight sensor. So just like that. After uh, that is all done there, we want to go ahead and then place down a uh, purple carpet. Or a row of three of purple carpet going across the top here. Now unfortunately with the crane, um, we do have to leave this one carp when this one carpet here um, so we can't have blue carpet all the way across there uh, but uh, you know it still works for the most part in showing what we're trying to show here with the plane with that done there we're gonna go and then just place down a um, skeleton skull in the front there for the front tip of the plane there and that'll be pretty much how you build your seaplane and uh, have that on the ship and you can build the second one maybe flying above it or something like that um, providing you need to reconnaissance but uh, that right there is going to pretty much do it for our first layer in the seaplane uh, for the Brooklyn. So let's go ahead and move into our uh, next layer, which is going to be layer number uh, five. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer. We have layer number five. For layer five to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to be going ahead and grabbing ourselves some iron bars. And for the front of the ship here on the bow, we're going to go ahead and place down two iron bars that go up uh, on the front here for the uh, little mast that's on the front. When that's done there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a gray carpet. We're going to place down a gray carpet going back, and then we just want to grab ourselves a redstone repeater and place down a redstone repeater on top of the stone block, also not going back like so. With that done, we're going to place down a stone brick stair on top of the stone block right here, followed by a stone block behind the stone brick stair, and a skeleton skull to both sides of that stone block. Coming off the stone stair itself, we're going to place down two dark oak fence gates opened up toward the stair itself, like that for the barrels of the guns. With that done there, we're going to go ahead and then place down your redstone repeater on top of this stone block here with the notches flicked out to the sides. After that's done, on this stone block here, we're going to place down another stone block on top of it, and there cobblestone wall on top of these two. And then we just want to do a row of three of stone blocks across. With this done, on top of these stone brick stairs here to both sides, we're going to place down an anvil. And we're going to make another secondary battery by, by placing down a uh, lever coming off these anvils toward the front. And like we did before, we're going to need to go ahead and grab ourselves some item frames. We're going to place down item frames on the side of the anvils with a stone block and this time a wooden sign. And we're going to do the same thing over here. Item frame, stone block, and a wooden sign on the side of the item frame. Or on the side of the anvil, my bad. With that all finished, on the back of the anvils, we're going to go ahead and place down a wither skeleton skull. <clears throat> like that going back, we're then going to place down a stone block here in the middle, followed by a cobblestone wall to both sides. After that's done, we're going to place down a narrow cobblestone wall here in the middle, followed by a great carpet here to both sides. From this point here we're going to go ahead and then place down a narrow brick fence post on top of the this fence post on both sides here and in the middle space uh, right here in the middle we're going to place down a great carpet followed by a stone brick stair with the back of the stair facing out to both sides like this and on the back of the stair itself we're going to place down a ladder like so. After that's done on top of the stone block here we're going to place down a narrow stone block that goes up like this followed by a great carpet on top of the cobblestone walls to both sides. When that's all done there, we're going to go and grab ourselves some iron bars. We're going to be placing down two rows of three of iron bars. So we have one, two, and three. One, two, and three. After that's done, we're going to place down a stone block, followed by a gray carpet on both sides of the stone block, and then a second stone block going back, and then this time a cobblestone wall to both sides of that block. When we get to this section here, cut off the stone block, we're going to place down two cobblestone walls back. We then want to place down a uh, court stair. I like this on both sides. Going back from the quartz stair and place down a quartz slab to both sides so you get something that looks like this. And then we want to go and then grab ourselves this wooden sign and place down a wooden sign on the side of this uh, first court or this quartz slab here on both ends. With that done, in the middle space here, uh, we're going to place down an anvil followed by a cobblestone wall to both sides of the anvil. We then want to take our stone blocks, place down a row of three across. We then want to place down a stone block in the middle here followed by a cobblestone wall to both sides. Uh, on the side of the cobblestone walls, we're going to be placing down a wooden sign. So again, both sides like that. And then coming off of the stone block here, we're going to place down another stone block like this, followed by a stone brick stair. 
Now coming off both sides of the stone block here, we're going to place down a skeleton skull. And then coming off of uh, the front of the stair here, we're going to place down two dark oak defense gates. Open it up toward that stone brick stair there for turret number four. With that done, go into the crane itself. We're going to go ahead and uh, start the crane by going ahead and just simply placing down a stone brick up down stair. On top of that cobblestone wall right there. And uh, with that all finished right there, that is going to nearly wrap up uh, layer number five. We have one last thing. Um, we're going to do and that's going to be going ahead and going to these iron bars here and placing down an uh, a Iron trap door on top of them So just like this to both sides there and without complete that is going to wrap up layer number five And with that we can go and move into our next layer layer number six All right guys go ahead and move on to our next layer. We go ahead and move on to layer number six For layer six to go ahead and get started with here. We'll be going ahead and grabbing ourselves some uh, Red star repeaters and place down a red star repeater on top of the stone block here for turret number two. With that done, go back to this section here. We're going to place down a cobblestone uh, wall on top of the stone block, followed by a stone block directly behind it. And we then want to go ahead and place down a stone brick stair uh, that's going to be coming off this stone block here to both sides, like that. Now, on the side of the stone block, we're going to be placing down a item frame on both sides. And in the item frame, we want to go ahead and place down a black concrete block, like that. After that's done, we're going to place down a stone block again here in the middle. We're going to go ahead and this, this time take iron trap doors. And we're going to place down a row of one and two iron trap doors to both sides. On the last iron trap door to the side, we're going to be placing down a wooden side on the side. And also the front side like this. Same thing over here. When that's done there, we're going to go ahead and then place down a cobblestone wall that goes back from the stone block here. We're going to place down another iron trap door to both sides and a wooden sign facing the side that's facing toward the back. And in these corner spaces here on top of the uh, another brick fence post here, we're going to be placing down a skeleton skull at a 45 degree angle in both, on both sides. After that, we're going to place down another stone block on top of this one right here. We then want to take our iron bars. We're going to place down one iron bar up the middle one right here. And to both sides uh, on these iron bars, we're going to be placing down a skeleton skull at about a 45 degree degree angle there we then want to place down a row of three of stone or sorry iron bars followed by a stone block that goes back uh, we're going to go ahead and then place down a skeleton skull on top of this uh, stone block here and a second one on top of this cobblestone wall uh, continuing on we're going to place down a cobblestone wall on top of this anvil and on both sides of the cobblestone wall we're going to be placing down a uh, stone brick ups down stair like that when that's done there we're going to place down a uh, second Stone break up sounds, or uh, sorry, a third one coming off this cobblestone wall toward the back. And we want to place down an iron trap door to both sides of that stair. We then want to place down a stone block going back from the stone break up sound stair, followed by an iron trap door again on both sides. With that done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a redstone repeater on top of the stone block. Notches flicked out to the sides. And we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a uh, stone brick slab and an end rod. We're going to place down an end rod on top of the stone brick upside down stair, followed by a stone brick slab going forward, and then a stone brick top slab like that coming off of it. And then uh, coming off the stone brick top slab, we're going to place down an iron bar. And just to go ahead and wrap up the uh, top of the crane here, we're actually going to go ahead and take this iron bar, or this end rod, delete it, and in its place we're going to place down a placeholder block, place the skeleton skull on top of it, delete that block, place the end rod back, and then we're going to take our iron trap doors, come off the skull, placing down one, two, and three iron trap doors going forward there for the rear crane after that's all complete that is going to finish layer number six and with that we'll go and move into our next layer which is going to be layer number seven all right guys going ahead and moving into our next layer we'll be going ahead and moving on to layer number seven for layer seven uh to go ahead and get started with here we'll be going ahead and going and start off with the conning tower here we're going to place down a uh stone block here on top of this cobblestone wall and around the stone block we're going to be placing down item frames around these three front sides and then placing down black concrete in those iron frames like that. After that's done, we're going to place down an additional stone block back, followed by a iron trap door to both sides of that stone block. Now on the sides of the iron trap door, wrapping around it, we're going to take wooden signs and place down wooden signs around it, just like this uh, for the little balconies popping out the side. With that done, we're going to place down another stone block here in the middle. This time followed by a stone brick slab to both sides and then come off the stone brick slab we're going to place down a item frame with a glass pane in it like this for a spotlight and same thing over here like that. Once that's done we're going to go ahead and then place down a stone brick upside down stair on top of this cobblestone wall and continue on we're going to place down a skeleton skull 
uh, on top of this iron trap door here. Add about a 45 degree wall on both sides there to kind of round off the tower. Uh, with that done, coming off the back of the stone break up stone stair, place down another skeleton skull and a stone block uh, right after it on the smoke uh, stack right here. We then want to take our iron trap doors. We're going to place down an iron trap door on top of these skeleton skulls to both sides. And then coming off the uh, sides of the iron trap doors toward the front, we're going to be placing down a wooden sign on both sides like this. And we then want to place down a item frame on the side of the iron trap door facing to the sides with a glass pane in it. And same thing over there, just like that. Uh, once that's done, we want to go ahead and work our way back by taking our iron trap doors. We're going to place down an iron trap door, or my bed. It's actually going to be a stone block here in the middle, followed by an iron trap door to both sides like that. Going back uh, from the stone block, we're going to place down an additional stone block back. Going to this section here, we're going to go and place down another cobblestone wall up like this. And coming off these stairs here, we're going to go ahead and go up and place down a cobblestone wall. Or sorry, a stone break up stone stair like that going up on both sides. We want to go ahead and then grab ourselves a placeholder block. And on top of this block, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a skeleton skull. Uh, that's going to be on both sides here. So just like that. And going down from that skeleton skull, we're we'll going to be going ahead and placing down a end rod. So just like we did for the rear crane. Uh, once that's done, going back from the cobblestone wall here, we're going to place down a stone block. Followed by a stone brick stair. Coming off the sides of the stone brick stair, we're going to be placing down a skeleton skull to both sides. And also a wooden sign here on the very back of the stair. Uh, we then want to place down an iron trap door on top of these two iron trap doors and a wooden sign off the side of the iron trap door same thing over here to this side as well uh, with that all done that is going to wrap up layer seven of the build and with that we're going to go ahead and move on to our next layer which is going to be layer number eight all right guys moving on to our next layer we have layer number eight for layer eight to go ahead and get started with here we'll be going ahead and placing down a stone brick stair on top of the stone block here followed by a skeleton skull to both sides of this stone block we then want to take our cobblestone walls and we'll be placing down a row of one and two cobblestone walls back followed by a row of two of iron trap doors coming off those two cobblestone walls um, along with those uh, iron trap doors we're going to be taking wooden signs and wrapping them around all the sides that we can so just like this again to kind of create the balconies and walkways and stuff located uh, on the top of the ship here uh, with that all done we're going to go ahead and then place down another stone brick upside down stair on top of this one right here for the mass we're then going to place down a stone block on top of this one. And then we get to this section here. We're going to place down a row of three of iron trap doors across. Followed by a item frame to the sides here with a glass pane in it. Same thing over here for again additional spotlights located in the midship section between the smokestacks. And then from this point here, we're going to take a wooden sign and place it on both sides of these iron trap doors that have the item frames on them. Like so. After that's done, on top of this stone block here, we're going to place down a narrow stone block up like this. Go into our uh, cobble or our stone brick stairs here and place down uh, two upside down stone brick stairs like this on both sides. And then uh, going down from the stone brick stairs, we're going to be placing down a iron bar like that. Uh, going back to the mast here, we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, narrow brick fence post on top of this cobblestone wall. And then we want to place down a skeleton skull on top of this stone block like that. After you have that all done, that's going to do it for layer number 8. And with that, we're going to move into our last final layers, which are going to consist of layers 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. We're going to put the top of the, uh, basically the top of the tower, calling tower on, and all the uh, masts. And we're going to pretty much wrap up the tutorial from there. So with that, let's go ahead and move into our last final layers. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our last final layers, we have layers 9 through 14. For these layers to go ahead and get started with, we're going to be going ahead and going to the top of the conning tower and working our way uh, basically back. So for this, we're going to place down a stone brick stair on top of this cobblestone wall here. And then to both sides of this uh, stone brick stair, we're going to place down a uh, skeleton skull to both sides and a wooden side on the back of the stair. After that stuff, we're going to place down a stone block with a skeleton skull on top of it. And we then want to go ahead and place down a narrow brick fence post on top of this stone brick stair. We then want to place down an additional one, two, and three. Never break fence posts up like this from the mass, fall by a one and two and rods come off the side of the very top never break fence post right there. And on both sides of this fence post, opposite or basically on the sides opposite from the end rods, we'd be placing down wooden signs like that. 
On top of the dead brick fence post, we're going to place down one more end rod up, followed by one to both sides. And then we're going to go ahead and then place down a iron bar on the very tippy top there to go ahead and complete the front mass. With that done, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some nether brick slabs. We're going to place down a nether brick slab on top of these two stone blocks. And then moving back to the rear mass, we're going to place down an additional one and two nether brick fence posts up like this. A blue concrete block coming off this fence post and then a TNT block coming off the concrete block like that for the American flag. And we're also going to go ahead and just place down a stone button on both sides of this blue concrete block. When that's done there, we're going to place down an additional narrow brick fence post up, followed by an end rod to both sides of this fence post, and a wooden sign coming off of it like this to both sides. And on top of the fence post itself, to go ahead and wrap up the build, we're going to place down an end rod on top like that to go ahead and complete the rear mass. After that's all complete, that is going to pretty much do it for uh, my design for the back to build World War II Brooklyn class cruiser. Hope you guys do all enjoyed the tutorial. If you guys do end up using it, do I see you guys give me proper credit for it? This video from Sunday Build to my channel or this video if this does appear in any social media sites. If you guys uh, do end up using this build, I do ask that you guys just simply give me credit for it. And you know, as long as you guys do, you're able to use it and um, have fun with it and all that stuff. Put in your fleets uh, with all the other back to build tutorials I have out there for you guys. Um, and other than that, again, a big special thanks to Transfire 8 for making this tutorial possible. And again, check out my Patreon page. Link is down in the description. And that, that's going to do it for this tutorial. Thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary 2 by 4 and I'll see you guys next time.